Welcome to Rob Braxman's Linux tip of the week. Today's tip is about finding out what storage devices you have on your computer and how to access them. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel folks to pick up the latest Linux tip of the week in the coming weeks. In my videos, I'll be using Ubuntu 18.04 as my Linux distro, so I make sure that it's something common. The main difference with other distros is that the instruction for installing a package may be different, but otherwise the commands will be the same. Now, the question of the day is to find and access our storage devices. If you used Windows or even DOS back in the day, Everything was accessed by drive letter. Your boot drive is usually C colon or C drive and subsequent devices are assigned letters like D, E, F and so on. It doesn't really identify the type of device but you'll be able to see their contents by going to each drive letter and seeing which one is active. And usually that's what you're going to see on Windows in File Manager as you can see here in this example. But in Linux folks, there is no history of the use of drive letters. So that's very different from Windows to Linux. In Linux, storage devices are identified by name. We need to reference them in a command line to copy, delete, or move files, but we need to know how to do that. In Linux, your boot drive is just your root. So you don't have to identify the device itself. You don't call the C drive like in Windows. It's just automatic. So we just call it root. So if you go to terminal and type this CD, which is change directory, and then slash. And then if you type LS, which is to list what's in there, and then you'll see the contents of that directory. In this case, in this case, the slash means root. So if you want to go to the etc directory, which you see there, I can just type cd, and then you have to put the first slash to start at the root, and then etc, and then enter. And if I do ls again, and I'll see the contents of etc. Now, if I want to go back to root, all I have to do is say cd slash, and then if I list that again, I'll be back at the root. Now, accessing the root is a simple thing, but what if you need to access a second hard drive or a USB drive or an SD card, for example? How do you reference them? Let me introduce you to two concepts when dealing with storage devices in Linux. First, you have to identify the devices by name. Then, in order to access them, there is a new concept, which is to mount the device like having to insert a USB drive, but this is done on the system side. This is not a physical thing. So mounting is not physical. Let's deal with these two details. First, let's find out what storage devices I have on my system. The easy way to do this is with a command called LS block. Now this is installed already on Ubuntu, but in case your distro doesn't have this, I'll show you how to install utilities where LS block is in. So you can type sudo apt get install util linux and that should install it. Now I already have it installed so it's not going to install it again. This is the command for Debian based systems like Ubuntu, Linux Mint and so on. Now if you're going to be using for example Fedora then you would use yum. So the command, and I'm not going to run it, but I'm just going to type it in for you. It's sudo yum install util linux. So depending on your distro, you just have to install util linux. Now some versions may have util linux ng. This is the older name, but the new name is called util linux. So again, on Ubuntu, it's already installed. I don't have to worry about it. So let me just clear this and then we will run ls block. 
Now here, you'll see a lot of things displayed that are not relevant to what we're trying to do today, which is to find out what our storage devices are. And you'll see a lot of these things that says loop. You see from loop seven to loop 26, and then they're all snap devices. And you will notice that the uh, there's a number associated with them starting with seven. So this is something that started with Ubuntu 18.04, and we don't need to look at those. We can ignore them but there's a command to exclude them from the list so I can show it to you in a clear way. So I'm just going to clear the screen and I'm going to exclude device type seven, which is what those loops are. And so I'm going to just type this exclude seven. So it's the same thing, but I just want to make it a little simpler so we can talk about it in a bit more clean way. You don't have to do this. You can just ignore anything that says loop. Now, this is now showing all of the devices that are used for storage or they're called block storage devices on my computer. And I'll show you all the different kinds. There are three types of devices in here. The top one says SDA. The next one says MMC block. And the next one says NVMe zero. And I'm not reading the latter numbers on there. Now, the NVMe is actually my main drive. And NVMe means non-volatile memory express, which is actually a reference to the PCIe devices. It's a solid state drive, which comes with my computer. So this is the new reference now to hard drives on newer Linux machines. It's NVMe. So that means it's one of your hard drives. Now I have another one there that says SDA. Now actually SDA stood for hard drives back in the past. SDA means SCSI disk. A, the first device, SCSI disk B, SDB for the second device and so on. But in my case, mine is a USB drive, solid state, mounted via USB, and it's marking it as SDA. So that's just what that means. So your drives may appear as NVMe something or SD something. Now, the one that's marked MMC, that's your flash memory, in my case, that is a SD card. It's a micro SD card and it's typically marked as MMC block, in this case zero. And if you have multiple, you can have MMC block one and so on. So I only have one SD slot and that single SD slot is marked MMC block zero. You can see that each storage device may have multiple partitions. So the one marked at the bottom, NVMe 0 and 1, my hard drive has two partitions on it. And you will see it with a suffix of P1, and that's the first partition, and P2, which is the second partition. And the same with the SDA, I only have one partition in there, so it's marked SDA1. And the same with my SD card, it's marked P1 for the first partition. So each partition will be marked separately. Now it's a simple matter to say that you know that SDA is a hard drive and NVMe 0 and 1 is a hard drive and MMC block 0 is an SD card, but how do you access it? You cannot access it by name. In Linux, everything has to be mounted. And this is something that is actually interesting about Linux. Everything is mounted on a directory. So if you look at the very, very bottom one, it's NVMe 0 and 1 P2, 446 gigabytes, and it's marked with a mount point of slash, meaning root. So my root is that drive, which is the second partition of NVMe 0 and 1. And the first partition is the boot folder, which is slash boot slash EFI. Now, so if I go into this and type cd backslash, I'm actually looking at nvme 0 and one p2. So, so that's what that is. And if I want to look at the boot partition, it's actually slash boot efi. So everything, oops, doesn't give me permission. So I have to be a root. and there is the boot partition. So if I wanna access the SD card, I can see here that it's mounted as media Linux root FS. So I can just type 
cd slash media linux root fs and if I list that it will show the contents of the SD card. If I want to see the contents of the hard drive on the USB which is SDA1 then I will type media Linux T3 and there I can see the contents. So everything in Linux is actually pointed to a directory. So this is something that you will learn later on, which is kind of interesting because everything in Linux is a directory. For example, if you want to access your cell modem, your camera, your microphone, all devices as a Linux standard are found in dev. So if you look at dev, it will actually list all of the devices on your computer. And that's what's unique about Linux. Everything is a directory. So all devices, including your storage devices, are just accessed as a directory on Linux. Now, one more point. In modern distros of Linux, if you mount a USB device, they will typically get mounted under media. So if you just want to do a quick look, just type media and then your username, and it will show you what devices you have available. In my case, I show two devices that I can access under media slash Linux. And that's it for now. We'll be back for another tip next week. Thanks for watching.